and I'm inviting a young lion, a Mohammed, to uh, introduce uh, initiative in Tanzania in that regard. Mohammed. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, Ambrose, for that introduction. Uh, my name is Mohammed Zahir. I'm a research fellow at the Sickle Cell Program and an adjunct lecturer at the Department of Hematology, Muimbili University, Tanzania. Uh, building on what Professor Gang and uh, Professor Matt have, have talked about, the Tri Country Collaboration Project. I will be shedding some light on the technicalities that will be taking place here in Tanzania. And therefore, my topic today will cover the isolation and quantification, as well as the cryopreservation of CD34 cells from cord blood, as well as the peripheral blood samples for advanced therapy in sickle cell disease. So we all know that allogenic hematopoietic stem cell transplant at the moment is the only known cure for sickle cell disease. Uh, and that has shown a high rate of success. But again, we do know that there is some limitation with regards to finding the matching sibling donor, as well as the high risk of transplantation related side effects. And this has sort of scratched um, heads of different scientists into going about uh, alternative methods. And that includes um, ex vivo gene transfer, also known as gene therapy that might provide a, a long-term and potentially curative treatment for sickle cell disease. So in, in brief, the procedure for gene therapy involves the extraction of stem cells from the patient and replacing the mutated uh, gene with a normal copy, as well as reinserting the cells back into the patient. Now, we do know that the CD34 cells are uh, the prime candidates for gene editing because these are undifferentiated and in, in their primitive form, uh, they are multipotent hematopoietic stem cells. And traditionally, we um, um, obtain these stem cells for uh, gene therapy from uh, bone marrows or uh, peripheral blood mobilization, uh, as well as cord blood. So with that in mind, the objectives um, for Team Tanzania as part of this tri-country um, project is to be able to collect the CD34 cells particularly whilst maintaining cell viability from um, immobilized peripheral blood and cord blood. Uh, and this, will, this project will take place over the span of three years. We intend to collect eight samples from peripheral blood uh, for 300 milliliters of peripheral blood and about 50 uh, milliliters of cord blood. Um, so 12 samples of cord blood per year. And this will be doubled in our second and third year as we gain more experience on how to use that. Um, the process involves the isolation of mononuclear cells from the samples, uh, as well as a selection of CD34 cells. And as part of the, the procedure, we will also quantify and evaluate particularly the viability pre and post cryopreservation uh, protocol, because essentially uh, when we ship those samples, we do want to ensure that the CD34 cells that have been collected are in fact viable. Um, in addition to our current work that is uh, done through the leadership of Professor Julie Makani, as well as uh, Dr. Siana and Professor Lucio, we are going to build on the ongoing research activities such as the K43 grant um, that looks into the uh, gene expression profiles of different candidate genes for determining fetal hemoglobin levels, as well as adult hemoglobin. Uh, in sickle cell disease patients, um, the hydroxyurea study, as well the newborn screening. And um, given the fact that we are already collecting cord blood samples from sickle cell patients uh, from different regional and referral hospitals, we are further going to capitalize on that. Um, in addition, we are going to utilize the Hematology Clinical Research Lab uh, located in Muyembele University as well as the Sickle Pan-African Research Consortia as the, and Sickle Gen Africa collaboration, uh, particularly to increase the capacity for advanced uh, therapy research for sickle cell disease. So to, to, to highlight the technicalities of how things are going to work, um, we will be collecting 300 milliliters of perifer immobilized peripheral blood and 50 milliliters of uh, cord blood through the normal uh, blood collection procedures from the peripheral hospitals uh, through patients with sickle cell disease. And those samples will be stored in the normal uh, blood collection uh, tubes, which uh, do have the necessary 
um, um, goodies to keep the cells viable whilst they are being transported from the hospital to the laboratory for further processing. Um, and once they, the, these samples have arrived to the lab, we will be using the pickle pack protocol, which is uh, based on a high centrifugation procedure and utilizes the density gradient procedure to split the samples into different types of cells, uh, mainly the platelets, the uh, mononuclear cells, and the erythrocytes. And essentially what we are interested in here is the middle part of the tube, which is the mononuclear cells, from which we will then employ uh, something called the Dyna beads. And the Dyna beads are going to be positive selection for CD34 cells. Uh, within the mononuclear cells, there are going to be CD34 positive cells, and these Dyna beads are uh, going to attract those cells. So once we wash away the supernatant within the tube, uh, essentially what we are left with uh, in the tube is only the CD34 cells, which is now ready for further downstream processing. However, um, after the uh, selection of CD34 cells from mononuclear cells, we will subject these cells to a flow cytometry for two main reasons. First, we will assess the viability of the cells and ensure that our samples have the optimum quality uh, for um, freezing and, and sampling. But also at the same time, we will be quantifying those cells so that we do know we have enough number of cells per tube per sample um, that would be required uh, for downstream processing. And as part of our contribution to the tri-country collaboration, we will then gradually uh, um, freeze our samples in liquid nitrogen so that the samples are stored uh, below minus 150 degrees uh, Celsius. And um, for quality assurance, we will um, practice both. So prior to freezing and after freezing, we will thaw them after a couple of days and assess them, the viability uh, of these cells, CD34 cells from the patient's uh, samples. And that will give us a good idea uh, as to how effect effective, in fact, the entire protocol and pipeline uh, that, that will take place in Tanzania actually is. These samples will then be sent to Gang's lab for further uh, editing procedures and engraftment procedures uh, through other collaborators as well. So um, we are going to build on the techniques and um, um, tools that we do have in place uh, from the resources we have in Tanzania. So personally, I have worked with the uh, mononuclear cells from blood samples that I worked for my PhD in the Netherlands on a leukemia project where I looked at translocations in the acute forms of leukemia. And within the same project, we also used the magnetic beads for cell selection and separation. The other areas of laboratory experience also includes DNA isolation and sample preparation for sequencing. So we're well versed with um, uh, preparing these samples. For example, um, for cardiomyopathy, we uh, assembled 2,000 patients. Uh, we had 300 patients for spinocerebral ataxia, as well as 500 samples for different forms of hereditary uh, cancer. And we are also familiar with the, with the next generation sequencing techniques that includes Illumina, Nanopore, and Ion Torrent. Um, familiar with molecular techniques such as PCR methods and Western blotting. But also we are uh, particularly uh, familiar with the in vitro cell culturing, both for cell line and blood culturing, which is essential uh, should this project um, go further downstream and get to a point whereby all our research will be conducted in Africa by Africans. Uh, and that is uh, one of the objectives and aims of this uh, collaboration so that we um, bring back home these, these technologies and be able to uh, conduct these studies by ourselves with the capacity that we have. Uh, we are going to team up with the Department of Microbiology for the uh, flow cytometry operation analysis. Uh, as well as for cryopreservation under uh, liquid nitrogen. We will work with uh, the regional referral hospital for clinical sample collection, as well as the storage uh, pipeline. And uh, um, particularly a uh, very uh, important point is the project management and the train the trainer coaching uh, that is essential uh, for this first year uh, of the project uh, for this uh, particular collaboration. Uh, I think uh, this project will also uh, address some of the comments uh, and points that were raised by Dr. Siana, particularly to address 
the differences of um, populations in France, US, and Tanzania with respect to the uh, efficacy and the efficiency of gene editing and engraftment potential when considering the genetic variation present in different human populations as well as environmental factors uh, that will be looked into. So having said that, I would like to acknowledge uh, uh, the sickle cell program here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, as well as the Department of Hematology and Blood Transfusion at the Mumbili University. Thank you very much and thank you for listening.